It's 2024 and I know you're still struggling with transferring WhatsApp data between iOS and Android. Yes, even though WhatsApp has officially made that feature available inside the app, it is still not as straightforward as you think as you will be required to reset your entire phone to have your WhatsApp data transferred over, which isn't the case for everyone because sometimes you already set up your phone halfway and you just want to transfer data from another phone to another phone. So yeah, it's a little inconvenient. Otherwise, the other matter would be to transfer all of your chats to email, which to be honest, isn't that convenient. So today, I have the better solution for you and it is called Mudsapper. It is an app by Wondershare that costs 19 US dollars per year. I know it costs money, but trust me, I've used this app countless of times and it has worked very, very well for me. So here's how to transfer WhatsApp data between iOS and Android by using Wondershare Mudsapper. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to use another WhatsApp account I have, which has lesser data and will speed up the process. Let's start off by transferring WhatsApp data from Android to iOS. One of the benefits of Mudsapper is that you don't necessarily need a PC to transfer your WhatsApp data. So go ahead and download the Mudsapper app from the Google Play Store. Launch the app and you will of course be prompted to buy the license. Don't worry, go ahead and purchase it. And since I already have a subscription, I'm just going to log in with my Wondershare account. On the first screen, you'll see two options, tap Android to iPhone. First, let's allow permissions in the media folder. And next, we'll need to perform a WhatsApp backup. Go back to the app when you're done. Second, let's enter the WhatsApp phone number that you use for backup. Enter the code when you receive an SMS. And next, the app will proceed to convert your WhatsApp backup. It may take a while if you have a lot of data, so go have some coffee and relax. At the next screen, you can browse your data to make sure that it has been properly backed up. Next, this is where things get interesting. You can use a USB-C to Lightning cable or USB-C to USB-C cable to connect your Android phone to iPhone. So let's tap the with USB cable option. When asked to allow Mudsapper to access the USB device, tap on OK. Next, it's time to download WhatsApp on your iPhone if you haven't done so. If you already have an existing WhatsApp account logged in on your iPhone, you can choose to merge your data, but it will take a longer time. As for this demo, let's log in to the phone number we registered on our Android phone. Now, WhatsApp will sometimes send the code to the app instead of an SMS, so you might need to wait for a bit before asking WhatsApp to send an SMS. Enter the code and log in. Then tap Start Transfer on your Android phone. Next, turn off Find My on your iPhone. And once you're done, tap back on the transfer result on your Android phone and tap next as usual. The transfer will then begin. Your iPhone will restart momentarily, but don't worry, it is entirely normal as it restores WhatsApp data. Let's launch WhatsApp on iPhone, and as you can see, my chats have been successfully transferred along with my media and files. Next, let's do iPhone to Android. On your Android phone, make sure Mudsapper is installed and you have an active subscription and WhatsApp is installed but not logged in. Then on the main screen, tap iPhone to Android. We are going to use the cable method again, so tap with USB cable. Allow Mudsapper to USB device. On your iPhone, make sure to tap Trust this computer. At this point, your Android phone will attempt to make a full iPhone backup as that is necessary to grab WhatsApp data. Nothing is being uploaded to the cloud or Wondershare servers, so don't worry about that. And the more data your iPhone has, the longer this process takes. So as usual, go have your coffee and let it do the job. Otherwise, you might want to use the Must Apple PC app so that you can continue to use your phone. Next, follow the steps as prompted on your Android phone, which is pretty much the same as before. Once the restoration is done, log into WhatsApp as usual with your phone number and you will see your chats and data successfully restored.
All right, so there we have it. This is how simple it is to transfer WhatsApp data between iOS and Android using Wondershare Mods Apper. It costs 19 US dollars per year. And if you have a lot of data and chats that needs to be transferred between phones, I think it's totally worth considering and it's way better than WhatsApp's own backup too. So yeah, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I'm giving away a free license code to you guys. So all you need to do is to share this video on any social media platforms that you have subscribe to the channel and follow our Instagram page. It's all in the links down below and send us a DM on Instagram that you have done all the steps and I will announce the winner on the 31st of May. So yep, that's all for this video for today. Let me know what you guys think about it and if you have any questions, do comment them down below. As for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.